Okay, so we're going to uh, do a battery uh, heater uh, test here. Uh, I pulled in with 37% state of charge on the Ionic 5, and uh, as you can see, my battery maximum and minimum are right around 48, 49, 50 percent. And my heater is not turned on at this point. It's at 50 degrees, right at the same temperature as the batteries. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the winter mode here. Okay, winter mode is on, and I'm going to go out and get the charger started, and I'll see you back here in a second. Okay, so I'm at an Electrify America. It's a 350 watt charger, and I'm going to get this going here. I won't bore you with those details. I'll be back in a second in the car. Okay, so we're charging now. Um, we're initial charge rate, it looks like about 70 kilowatts. And we go. Okay, so we're about four or five minutes into this, and um, I actually turned the car off, um, but uh, nothing else changed. So as you can see, the heater is on. Uh, it has now come up to 75 degrees. The batteries are lagging quite a bit behind. Minimum is 52, and the maximum is 57. You just see it jumped up again. So indeed, the battery heater is working, um, and um, unfortunately, the kilowatts really haven't gone up. In fact, they've gone down a little bit, um, but uh, the battery heater is working at this point. So I'm going to leave this on for another minute or so, so you can see how this curve goes. Hopefully, we'll jump up in our charging rate here in a minute. In my experience, this thing usually tops out at around 100 degrees Fahrenheit, the battery heater does. Um, like I said, though, it doesn't seem to heat the batteries fast enough to really get us up to any kind of a fast charge rate, unfortunately. Because by the time, even at, you know, 60, 70 kilowatt hours, by the time you get up, to 60 70 80 percent the batteries are only at about 60 or 70 degrees fahrenheit so but the heater is definitely working so that's a good thing And I wonder if the um, I wonder if the rate of charge is affected more by the battery minimum, the minimum cells, which makes more sense, because you can see that some of the cells are at 61 degrees, which is approaching um, a a point where you would think that they would be able to charge fairly rapidly, but some of the cells are still in the mid 50s. I'm going to turn the car back on now so we can see our display on there. Oh, now this is interesting. Okay, so our net charging is 50, 52, 53 kilowatts. But our draw from the charger is 61, which leads me to believe that that battery heater is using approximately 8 kilowatts of power. That's a lot of power. But as you can see, the heater is actually up pretty high. It's up to 84 degrees Fahrenheit. But that minimum battery temperature is lagging so far behind, we're still only effectively charging at 53 kilowatts, which is mighty slow.
Okay, I'm going to pause again here and I'll, I'll uh, restart if anything changes. All right, so we're about, uh, I don't know, 12, 13 minutes into this. Again, um, still only charging net at a little over 50 kilowatts. Uh, the, the battery heater apparently is still drawing about 7 or 8 kilowatts because uh, we're, we're, we're getting an effective charge rate out of the charger of about 60 kilowatts. Um, yeah, so we're uh, not going too fast. And our maximum battery temperature uh, just hit 59 degrees. Now, I believe if I remember, yeah, when it hits 60 or so, and there it goes, it just did a big jump up to, let's see where it tops out at. Okay, it's going to top out at about 100 kilowatts. If I remember correctly, once it gets over 62 or 63, it's going to take another jump up to about 160 or 70 kilowatts. Um, but you can see the, the heater is actually doing a pretty good job, but for whatever reason, it's not getting the battery, the minimum battery temperatures up enough to really charge at a high level. There's quite a difference, a 13 degree difference between the maximum and minimum battery temperatures there. All right. I had two more cars pull in next to me, so I'm wondering if it'll affect our rate of charge here. I don't know. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause again. I'll go ahead and, and restart if we get any more changes here. Okay, so we're about 16 minutes in. And let's see, battery heater is up to 102.2. Our battery minimum is at 66. I did not see a spike up in charge rate. I'm still, yeah. Only at 60%, so we should still be able to go much, much higher on the charge rate, but it's just not doing it. And the battery heater is continuing to heat. I'm, I'm a little surprised it's uh, up as high as it is. Oh, here, here we go. Here we go. We're, we're ramping. Okay, so we're at about 16, 17 minutes now. We just hit another ramp. And we're up to about 130. Very interesting. Um, okay, now one thing that I'm noticing. 129. So I believe the battery heater's maximum cutoff is around that 104 point because I'll show you. So 130 kilowatts there, approximately 130 kilowatts there. And oh, by the way, I do have my climate off now. So we're getting all of the charging wattage, pretty much all of the charging wattage now. So apparently, okay, yeah, and the, the heater is actually back down. So it looks like the cutoff for the heater is approximately 104 degrees. And now the battery heater has cut off and it's uh, equilib equilibrating with the uh, battery temperatures. But at least we're up to about 130 kilowatt charge rate. So I'm going to give this another minute. I'll probably go ahead and pause and see if there's any other changes here. And we're at approximately 17, 18 minutes right now, charge time. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause. I'll get back to you if there's any changes. Okay, we're at 20 minutes uh, charging time. Um, and nothing really much has changed. It looks like we have topped out at about 130 yeah, a little bit more, 132, 134 kilowatt hours. 
My maximum battery temperature is 82 and the minimum is 75. Um, the battery heater has not come back on. Um, I'll show you. So we're drawing 133, 134 from the heat or from the charger and we're putting in it at about the same. So the battery heater has not come back on. Um, it's apparently tops out at about 104, 105 degrees and then just shuts off at least at 48 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know if it has any kind of logic in it to do something different at colder temperatures, but that's what it's doing for me today. And I'm actually just going to charge to 80%. I don't imagine anything will happen differently past that. So the one thing for a discussion is, you know, the battery heater does work. So contrary to what some people have been saying, it does come on at moderate temperatures. It's not that cold here, especially can, compared to a lot of countries. Um, it heats up but very slowly it heats the, especially the battery the minimum battery cells do not heat up quickly enough to ramp up the energy fast enough to get anywhere near the maximum charging capacity so that's a fact if hyundai were to enable uh true preheating on the way to the charger i suspect that you would be able to begin at a much higher rate that would also heat the batteries faster just from the charging and allow you to perhaps get much much closer to the maximum battery charging capacity of this vehicle uh, even uh, in somewhat cooler temperatures although i don't really consider 48 degrees fahrenheit very cold there's a lot of countries where it doesn't get that much warmer than that many many months out of the year um, so yeah all right well I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video it looks like we're actually getting very close to 80% we're ramping down for the normal charge curve so I'm gonna go ahead and end this uh, video thanks a lot bye